there was two lines on the pregnancy test and I think you heard me squeal. Yeah, she started screaming and I was like, it's positive. <laughs> So I was diagnosed with a condition called MRKH, um, which is short version for Meyer Rockintansky Kusterhauser syndrome. Uh, when I was 16 years old, I didn't start my periods, my monthlies, and then um, had some investigations as to as to why I didn't. Um, and after an MRI, they found out that I was basically born with no womb and no uterus. So yeah, at 16, I was told that I couldn't have children. Didn't have anybody. I didn't even know anybody with the condition. Um, to speak to or know that anyone had had a child via surrogacy. I met Lewis and told him and we knew that we wanted children so we knew that the only route to have it was to go through IVF and surrogacy. Obviously there's adoption as well but um, we wanted to sort of exhaust this option first before we went down the route of adoption. And Chloe reached out to us and you know said that she'd like to be a surrogate. When we started the IVF process I went and had a scan um, Lewis was in the room when they told me that I had like follicles on my ovaries and my ovaries were actually doing something and I can remember crying and he was crying, it's almost like they just told me I was pregnant. After lockdown I said to my husband like I want to do egg donation again, I'm going to look into it and then it was so weird because then I seen Laura's post and I was like it's something I've always wanted to do. I know what it's like to have kids, I know how amazing it is and it is nice to complete a family. So we went upstairs and did the pregnancy test and we didn't we didn't think it was going to have worked first time and I think they said the chance of it working was like something like 33% or something so we were like sort of assumed it wasn't going to work and then um, yeah there was two lines on the pregnancy test. At seven weeks they seen heartbeat and everything was in the right place and it was one, one baby, one heartbeat. Um, I wasn't allowed in for that either, I was downstairs but they did FaceTime me so I could see like the flickering of the heartbeat and I can remember just being stood there crying my eyes out like oh my god it's happening. I couldn't have been more involved, I don't think. Not that I felt I was pregnant, but I didn't feel like I missed out on anything. anything. Yeah, like we done it, like we went to all, all midwife appointments together. Yeah. It was an emergency C section, which is not what we wanted, but after a stupid amount of hours of her trying to arrive, we um we went went into theatre and he was holding hands and we was holding yeah. hands and they like lowered the the like the cloth, the screen thing. Um, and she let her like a proper alm almighty cry, didn't she? And they yeah, turned and she like, looked like yeah. this Buddha. But she'd been like stuck, she was all swollen and she had a temperature as well, so she was bright red. It's been amazing. I'm glad I've done it. 100%. I'm so glad I've done it. Like I said, pregnancy was easy, labour didn't go as we planned. We look at it that you could have had a nightmare pregnancy as well, couldn't you? She's always going to be like in our life, like. Don't you cry now. <laughs> She's saying as well. She'll know who Chloe is and like how much Chloe well, has been a massive part of her life and our life.